Well, I'm assuming it's uh, recording. I'm really loving this gull wing. Um, now, the, the only thing I can compare this to is my CVO. And I have to say that um, there are there are things that I miss on the CVO, one of them being the highway pegs. Um, this is extremely comfortable though, and I think it's an awesome uh, motorcycle. I'm not sure this thing's recording though, because I'm not seeing the picture on my phone. Uh, we'll see. This thing shifts so smooth, it's, it's just a real joy to drive. It does not have the heavy feel of the Harley Davidson. I live is um, motorcycle heaven. We've got the uh, redwoods to the north. We've got the coast towards the west, and um, all these lakes that we can drive around. Clear Lake. Here's Lake Mendocino here to my left. I've only got uh, 209 miles on this motorcycle and evidently they want you to get 300 before you uh, accelerate hard. But the other day I fueled up and I don't know how I must have pushed that mode button and it got into sport mode and it's vastly different. You know it's coming onto the freeway and it it revs all the way up a much higher before it shifts. So it kind of startled me because I was driving it in tour. This is one awesome motorcycle. And I'm very happy with my decision on getting it with uh, for me and Mama. I, I'm looking at that uh, custom seat because by putting that on, it gives gives me a little bit of more uh, back support on the lower part of my back, as well it doesn't take space away with the uh, backrest from my wife. So I haven't given the wife a ride on it yet. I'm going to wait till I get get her broken in. And then uh, go for a ride.
I'm going to ride to is one of the places that we like to ride to break in our motorcycles. Um, it, it's a uh, very pretty wine country. Now when I first moved up here long ago it was cattle and lumbering. Now it's there still is cattle and lumber but at a far less degree and it's more grapes than anything else. Um, I went to Harley yesterday and I saw that uh, Sport Glide and one of my commenters suggested that you know instead of getting the Honda that I should consider that bike only problem is it doesn't have dual disc brakes in the front and I don't think I I should lower my standards just to ride a Harley. Um, the Goldwing has dual disc brakes in the front and super smooth. The other thing I notice about the Goldwing and I'm not playing the radio right now because I guess I would be uh, plagiarizing or whatever you guys call it on YouTube um, that I can hear it I, I can actually hear the radio very clearly and on the CVO I had to turn that thing up so loud that it wasn't even enjoyable Now this thing is just so smooth. Got to be careful because you can find yourself speeding real easily. I'm approaching the uh, city of Ukiah, which is our local city. I live about 15-20 miles from it. It's a very nice town. If you notice, I got a little uh, zip tie on my uh, phone here because it's a magnetic holder that I bought from Harley and I actually took it off the fat bob and put it on the on the gold wing so I have some way of uh, mounting my radio because it starts the camera recording and stops the camera recording so hopefully this thing's recording I'm, I'm not seeing a, a picture on it or anything But I believe it is recording. So now on the, on, on the uh, Fat Bob, it has a USB plug right on the side by the steering column. And I plugged it into the radio, I mean to, to the phone to keep the, because I don't know how long it's going to last when, you, when you're recording. But it's, it's got an extra large battery on it and what, what I did was uh, push the button so the, the phone stays charged and then I got a uh, little uh, power pack with a USB plug-in for the camera so the camera battery doesn't run out. Now I'm recording in 4K hopefully and so that takes a little more power. Um, I've been wanting to get this uh, a video up on the Goldwing, but uh, 
I got a lot of weed whacking to do on the farm otherwise it gets ahead of me and then I'm in big trouble <laughs> it gets so tall that it just wraps around the weed whacker head and you're untangling the head more than you are weed whacking so I got caught up on that and it's not like I'm done weed whacking I still have to but at least I can uh, do like a tank a day on the weed whacker and it'll keep me uh, caught up. Now I'm still learning this this goal wing. You know, I, I, I haven't ever put it on navigation. Um, it is really enjoyable to ride though. I mean, on all my Harleys, um, I end up having to pay to have a hydraulic clutch because I, my, my left shoulder, I, I, I fell on it really hard one time playing football with my uh, grandson, and uh, ever since then, this this hand or my left side has been a little gimp. You know, I mean, not all the way, but enough where. If I put a racing clutch on a Harley with the cable, it's just too much. So by putting the hydraulic clutch, it makes it doable. Now the gold wing, you don't even have to pull the clutch in. It's, it's got the automatic. I'm loving it. I got a person that is um, interested in buying my uh, 1290 KTM Super Duke and uh, that is by far the fastest motorcycle I've ever owned and really you need to you really know how to you need to know how to ride to ride that thing because everything happens so fast. So, you know, I, I'm not I'm not riding like that any longer. I mean, to that degree that I need that motorcycle, and I only got a thousand miles on it. So right now, I could get pretty good most of my money back from it. But the guy that wanted it, he, he told me he said, uh. I really like your KTM, and I told him, I said, well, you better know how to ride before you buy something like that. I said, uh, it scares me. I said, it'll stand up in every single gear. Throttle on. You don't even have to use the clutch. Um, sheer acceleration. I think it's like uh, 185 horsepower, and the motorcycle only weighs 417 pounds. You know, it gets down to the laws of physics, you know, horsepower to weight ratio, and I'll tell you. Now, a lot of people are criticizing Harley because they're not making the Dyna any longer. And, and you know, to me, it's kind of silly because uh, technology is king, you know. The phones get better, so you upgrade your phone, you know? Televisions get better, so you upgrade your television. Um, same thing with everything. Uh, so now, the handling of the new soft tail frame is superior to the old style dual shock in the rear. As well, it makes the bike lighter. Yet all these guys are mad at Harley. They, they should have called it a different name, not soft tail. Or, hey, you know what? That, that's a bunch of baloney. If you guys want to stay with the old stuff, go ahead. 
Now, one of the things that got me to buy the Goldwing was it was my son that said, hey, Dad, did you see the new Goldwing? Now, he, he's probably one of the biggest sticklers about Harley only, you know? I mean, <laughs> he uh, got on me about the, the Super Duke. He said, Dad, what the heck are you buying that for? And I said, well, it's the Pikes Peak World Record Holder. Uh, it, it's unbelievable. And when I ride it, it handles so good that you do not realize how fast you're going. So I said to myself, I said, you know, I'd rather sell the KTM Super Duke that I'm probably not skilled enough to ride it to its potential and, and, and get something like that uh, Sport Glide which I would ride more often I mean I'm going to give my uh, Screaming Eagle V-Rod to one of my grandchildren um, he, he fell in love with it so I'm, I'm going to get, be giving that to him and um, get rid of the KTM. So I would, I would end up having three motorcycles. I, I, I wouldn't need anything more than that. I, I really don't need any more than the, the Fat Bob and, and the uh, Goldwing, to be honest with you. I'm really in love with this bike. And... Uh, you know, I when I, uh, I made a, a comment saying that that I was going to get criticized by because I bought a Goldwing, and I have to say I was wrong. It, it all became interest. All the Harley riders and everything said, "Arturo bought a Goldwing," so they were coming over and said, "Arturo, you got a Goldwing?" I said. Not the, it's not the same Goldwing as, as last year. I said, it's 100 pounds lighter. I said, you guys knew I was complaining about the weight on the CVO. I said, uh, um, and I loved my CVO. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not bad-mouthing Harley. Harley makes awesome motorcycles. But, again, it boils down to the laws of physics. You know, I mean, when, when you have weight that's up high versus when the weight is low. This bike does not feel heavy. And I'm really loving it for that reason. Now I know that I'll be able to ride a few more years, giving my wife a ride. I mean, when we were younger, oh boy, I'll tell you what, we really just, we went everywhere on, on, on our motorcycle. I mean, frog jumps, Redwood Run. Uh, we even went to Milwaukee, Sturgis. And, you know, there's actual days that my wife says, well, let's go for a bike ride. And I took her, we, we went on the CVO, we went to a winery and, um, but the uh, parking lot was slanted. And when we, when we left, oh my goodness, it, I had to actually have my wife help me stand the bike up. And um, I didn't like that. So when I told the wife that I was gonna get a gold wing, looked at me and I, and I told I said so so we can still go riding hun and she goes but that one's heavy too I said no it's different I said and when I told her I had automatic transmission <laughs> she, she doesn't know motorcycles you know one way or the other but uh now I've been watching all the videos on YouTube and all on the on the bowling 
and they're all pretty accurate. I mean, uh, Cruiser Man, he uh, showed how to start this thing just by a little shortcut by pushing that starter button twice and it works. I mean, you know, you push it on, the lights come on and then push it again and it starts right up. Hit drive and you're off and running. Now one of the things that I would like as an accessory is highway pegs, but I, I, I don't know that you can do that on this motorcycle. I, where the engine is and I, I don't even see the frame where you could attach anything to it or whatever, you know, but that would be a big plus for them. Now, I don't know what, uh, when I put the custom seat on this bike, if uh, that's going to make it better because I believe it, it, it also, you move back a little bit. Uh, But I think that Honda hit a home run with this motorcycle. I mean, it's going to force Harley to do something with their FLH. Or they're going to lose a lot of these guys to, to Honda. And I tell you what, the guys uh, in my group once I get this thing broken in, I'm going to let them all take it for a ride. I mean, you know. Now, what I've seen with a couple of my friends, um, they went the, the three-wheeler route. But that kind of takes away from the fun of it, and, and I think, anyway, uh, I ask him, well, how does it feel on the freeway? You know, doing 70, oh, they, oh it's bulletproof, it's, it's awesome. I said, okay, you know. Um, and I, you know, there, there, that's one way to go. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I'm not criticizing them for wanting a three-wheeler, but that's not the way I want to go. I, I, um, then they had the... Uh, that thing that you could put on your bike where when you stop these things come down and they hold the bike level uh, let me see if I can make this turn before this big truck blocks me okay now we're now we're coming into uh, the wine country uh, I really live in motorcycle paradise. This is um, such a joy to ride. And uh, when I was breaking in the fat bulb, I just did this this loop until I got the miles on it. But the way I was breaking it in was I wasn't getting on it. I wasn't revving it. I was, you know, just really babying the fat bulb because. Uh, it's a stage four and I didn't want the thing to blow up on me or you know so um, when we did the first dyno run Leif told me he said Arturo this thing's not not it's too tight it's not really broken in yet because he could tell he says every time he ran the dyno like three or four times and every time he ran the dyno it was gaining more horsepower. He says, that's telling me, Arturo, the bike's not broken in. He says, uh, so now, you know, I, I took the fat bob and uh, I've gotten like 500 more miles on it. Um, we're still talking with BST on, on the carbon fiber wheels. Uh, last that we heard was the drawings were made and it was going through the process. Now, BST doesn't just make the wheel and then ship them off. They, they go through rigorous testing and um, quality control and all these things. Um, so, I'm, I'm just being patient. Uh, I'm really hoping that we have those 
wheels for Sturgis. Um, but I was watching uh, on YouTube last year's Sturgis. I saw a lot of gold wings in there. Uh, same thing with Daytona Bike Week. And there's there's a huge, huge gold wing community. You know, I, I you got Memphis Mike, and you got um, I think his his name is Chris Caliente. Uh, and they, they, you know, I respect their uh, their opinions. You know, now Memphis uh, Memphis Mike, he was he was the one that got me to really start looking into this bike because. He was one of the people that got to uh, test ride the Gold Wing early. And um, all he did was give it accolades and, and oh, he loved it, you know. And But, and, and same with Chris. Chris went and saw it, you know. And there's also Music Man, you know. Uh, I, there's so many of them, I, I, I can't remember them. Um, But hearing what they said, you know, about they they're, they're, they own the older ones and they got their bikes all set up. Um, you know, that's a lot of money. I I know what they're talking about when when you uh, start pouring money into these bikes. Like I like I said in a previous video that I've poured money into a motorcycle and then the very next year the the model has everything that I just put on on the other bike and I said oh my goodness I could have saved a few thousand you know but uh, I'm retired now I, I you know the Lord blessed me with a very large pension um, I worked on the Golden Gate Bridge for 25 years and uh, Retired as iron worker superintendent and operating engineer superintendent, so I got a pretty good pension, you know. And so, what else am I going to do? You know, I mean, uh, I've always loved motorcycles. I had a motorcycle when I was younger. You could get a motorcycle license years before you could get a car. I, I don't know if those laws have changed or, or what, but... So... My first Harley was a uh, Sportster. And I got pretty good on it. When I was younger, I used to like to pull those wheelies and go as far as I could um, I, I don't do that any longer <laughs> uh, though that fat Bob you could easily easily pull some wheelies with that thing I'm thinking last time we, we dynoed it and this is when it was tied it, like I said every time we ran it, it it gained more horsepower and the last run we did it was 117 horsepower and 119 and a half torque so the Harley thing says that it's gonna be you can get 122 out of the stage 4 now the other thing is the stage 4 you, you need to change the pipes as well but they make they make the street cannons they look like they're stock but they're not they're uh, the Screaming Eagle, and that's what I got on it. Um, and it's quiet, but I'll tell you what, as far as comfort, you ain't going to beat this bike. Uh, now, the CVO is very comfortable as well. I drove it all the way to, uh, not that particular motorcycle, but... Um, I drove it all the way to Daytona Beach, Key West even, um, and home. 
with about seven of us guys, we all we all did it, you know. Uh, and I really loved the highway pegs. You know, after you're sitting and when you're, we're, you're doing 600, 700 miles a day, you're gonna want to stretch those legs. See, so now I'm comfortable now with without the highway pegs but I'm just contemplating if, if we were to drive um, to Sturgis or Milwaukee or, or whatever Harley's gonna have their uh, 115th big party um, I, I would definitely want to stretch my legs every once in a while I guess you could just pull over and walk around a little bit and then get back on a ride but I think whoever comes up with a set of highway pegs for this motorcycle is going to make a killing. But it may not be doable, I don't know. Yeah, these orchards here on my left, they're pulling them out and a lot of them and put in the grapes in. And everywhere I go around here, there's grapes, grapes, grapes. I said, heck, supply and demand, you'd think the bottom would fall out on the grapes, you know, but it doesn't. I guess everybody likes to drink wine. I, I certainly do, I mean. Uh, This is a beautiful motorcycle. It's just so comfortable. I've never scraped anything on this thing. It just it, it leans over. <laughs> Now I notice that now they've uh, want, somebody has um, made a wider foot peg, like a, a mini four board for it. So that's been made. Uh, the other thing is is. Um, I've watched a few videos and even subscribed to uh, Max McAllister and he's, he's, he makes a suspension kit for this motorcycle that he says improves it and everything and it to me uh, I don't have a problem with modifying a motorcycle to make it better. Uh, now a lot of people are saying, you know, I, I'm not feeling any slop on mine now. I'm not feeling any of the things that Max describing, but I might be after a thousand miles because he's shown some motorcycles after a thousand miles. He's starting to get slop. So I don't know. Live and learn. Uh, Now Honda, when I went to Honda, and I says, you guys don't have any gold wings? Because they didn't even have one there. And he goes, uh, no, I got one coming, but it's it's a, a manual, and it's not the, it's not the Touring model. And I said, oh, well, I'm after that automatic transmission. I'm after the, the technology. And uh, he said, well, let, let, me, let me see what I can do. He called up Honda, and evidently all his motorcycles were already allocated. You know, they only give you so many of each model, and then that's it. But he convinced them. Uh, he says, I got a customer here. He wants a white one. So, that was awesome. 
he told me, he says, I'll get it for you, Arturo. He, now, he knows I'm a Harley man. He knows that, you know, I've always been riding Harleys. But I met him when my kids were younger, and I bought them dirt bikes. Well, I got them the Hondas. You know, I got a CR80 and uh, uh, another Honda bike motorcycle. But anyway, um, that's when I met him. And uh, I told Dave, I says, I says, if it, it, I'd really appreciate it if you can get me one, you know. I said, I'd like to buy it locally. I don't want to have to go to Santa Rosa or somewhere far to buy it. So he got it. And on top of it, he gave me a deal. Um, now, Memphis Mike said that... Uh, Don't, don't buy a Goldwing from a dealership unless they give you a deal. And uh, he may be correct, I don't know, but this is uh, California and, and everything, you know, they jack everything up, you know. Uh, I, uh, at one point, I was interested in the Ford Raptor truck. And these clowns, these four dealerships were racking it up 20 grand more than what the truck MSRP was. And I told him, I says, uh, you know what? I said, if I get one, I'm only going to pay MSRP. And then I'm going to post a YouTube telling everyone to boycott every single Ford dealership so you guys get stuck with these things and you end up having to give them a deal. Well, I never did get one, and you know, I was just bitter. But that's that's how California is. They jack up everything. So now Harley, uh, I've bought so many Harleys that I automatically get a deal. And uh, they treat me really good. So when when I went in there. The other day and made that film on the sport glide he said, oh here comes Arturo he's you know I never have to uh, renew my hog membership because I end up buying another Harley you know but I sell them too I mean I, I ride them for a couple years and, and, and I sell them and um, Like I said, I sold the lowrider rest to a, a good friend, and he really wanted that bike. Um, he could have bought one from the Harley dealership, but he he knew that I had the carbon fiber wheels, and I I told him I said, uh, you know, you would have never, you would have never paid the money to have those wheels put on your bike. And he goes, no, I wouldn't have, Arturo. He says, that's why I'm buying your bike. <laughs> uh, I got a fair price. But, you know, you're going to lose a little money when you, when you sell a bike. But uh, You know, I, I had that, that motorcycle back in Sturgis. And... Um, One of the things I had done to it was a custom, um, custom seat that had a, I guess, boa constrictor or whatever skin, and and he uh, put put that on the seat. Man, everyone loved it. I said, wow, that's badass, Arturo, you know, I said, yeah. Well, we're going back to Sturgis again. Uh, everyone says the place to go at Sturgis is the Buffalo Chip. Kind of expensive, but it includes all the entertainment. 
So, you know, when, when you go to places like that and everything and it's hot, you know, once I start drinking, uh, there's no more bike riding. I mean, like Memphis Mike says, drinking and riding do not mix. Um, but, you know, you start drinking and then, and then you, you got all your, uh, your bands. Everything's right there. You don't have to go nowhere, see? Whereas we stayed at the, the lesser expensive uh, camping. Well, now you, you're going to have to drive to the entertainment. And then you can't drink. You can't have a beer, right? I mean, so... The other thing they all say is, oh, you can't take your kids there, man. You know, there's all these women walking around with no tops and this and that. And it, well, you know, you can't protect a child from life, you know. And besides that, on the main strip, they're not walking around naked. It's only within these uh, certain campsites and everything The you know, They'd get arrested for indecent exposure if they were out there on the main strip. Uh, there's a lot to do. There, I mean, you talk about motorcycle heaven. Those Black Hills got some of the best riding there is. It's it's just fantastic. And. Um, I'm not, I'm not against taking my Goldwing uh, to Sturgis, to be honest with you. I, I, I do have a motorcycle trailer that, that'll that hold two motorcycles. Uh, but I don't know. Um, this is my Cadillac. I, I really like this bike. Oh, man. Thank you, Lord, for letting me have it. I'm just borrowing it, literally. I mean, naked we come into this world, and naked we leave. So. Yeah, the other thing we want to do is uh, go up to Reno on these. Uh, they have events up there, too, for the motorcyclists. Now most of my guy, uh, most in our crew have the uh, street glide, which is in the FLH frame. Um, I believe that Harley is going to make a change on that frame in August. I don't know. I'm just speculating, but. You know, when they when they came out with the soft tail, I said, oh, I'm glad I got the Lowrider S. But then I went up for a ride on my uh, KTM, and I says, you know what? KTM has a single shock in the rear. This thing handles like no other motorcycle. So I said to myself, you know, the heck with that I'm gonna I'm gonna go check this motorcycle out and when I went and checked it out you know what grabbed me more than anything was a Milwaukee 8 um, and that you were able to get a stage 4 and still be in, on warranty I said finally finally but then I was you know in some respects, Harley did well, but in other respects, I, I think they dropped the ball. You know, they call that bike Sport, Sport Glide. Never before was a Harley called Sport that didn't have dual disc brakes. I, I, I'm just baffled why they did that. Uh, you know, at least make it where guys like me that are old-fashioned, that want to want the dual disc, could could pay for the extra parts and have them put on. But that's not the case. 
And then when uh, Leif called him up and, and said something to him, that, you know, the, the, there's a lot of things that these guys are wanting. And he says, well, Harley doesn't want to invest in old technology. Old technology? Come on, it's just making accessories for your own motorcycle. So... I don't know. Now in the Gold Wing, I saw that on the previous models, Bora made an uh, exhaust for them. Uh, several, several of them uh, make make exhaust. You know, I don't know if that's going to happen on this bike. Um, I would think so. But I, I'm not going to go with loud. I, you know, I, I'm against the loud. Uh, this is this bike is something else. All I all I have to do is drive and enjoy God's creation. Um, it's really enjoyable. Now I got 250 miles. The other thing is on, on the goal when you're using regular gas. On my Harleys, when I hop them up, supreme. And we got a goofy governor in California that thinks that he can uh, just raise gas tax and this and that under the guise of the EPA. So here we have non-elected officials raising taxes without the vote of the people. That's not good. So... Hopefully that'll be corrected. They got a goof, a lot of goofy laws here in California. I guess now they're mandating solar panels on a new home. But uh, the other option is moving out of California and I end up having to pay taxes because of my pension and big time and I'm not going to get to write off the uh, mortgage interest completely now it's only going to be limited to 10,000 so most likely I'm going to end up having to pay a lot more taxes so oh well maybe I better start saving now I kind of like that you can see the front end working on this thing those things bouncing around in there <laughs> yeah, I live in paradise. I fell so much in love with the the gold wing that I'm gonna put a windshield on that fat bob. I mean it takes all the weight off of your chest of the wind. Makes it a lot more enjoyable.
and there's a lot less wind noise so I guess you guys can hear me better I, I hope I don't even have to think about downshifting or nothing. This thing's something else. new front end just sucks up the bumps yeah this bike is awesome I've never, uh, never driven the old, older uh, Goldwing. Um, but all the other guys, they, they, they love their bikes, so. You know, it's kind of like the, uh, the Lowrider S being the old model and the Fat Bob S being the, the new model and a lot of people are really pissed off that Harley's not making that uh, Dyna any longer. I, I could care less. The Fat Bob handles far better than the Lowrider S. Um, so if you want to be old school, that's okay, I'm, you know. You know, I always go to these uh, Harley Davidson events, but I see they got a lot of uh, Goldwing events as well, Wing Ding or, or something like that. And I see some of them put all the lights on their motorcycle, and, and I think that's awesome. So I can, I, I can really see how a guy that has the older model and, and gets it all set up, why he'd, he would just say, well, I'm going to ride this until, you know, get my money's worth out of it anyway. And 
myself I just I'll sell it garner what I can out of it and then move on to the newer technology but I'm loving this bike Back in Potter Valley. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope this thing recorded.